So good morning, buongiorno. And thanks, uh, Zoritza, Diana, Evelina. It's a pleasure to be with you all today and share our experience. Uh, the purpose of my of my talk is essentially to give us give you a, a feeling of what we have tried to do over the last two decades and maybe some of what we are going to describe could be of inspiration for some of you, uh, because of course the challenge of uh, integrating nurturing care and ECD into primary health care is a common challenge. And we are all faced with uh, some uh, uh, obstacles that are probably quite, uh, quite common. Um, I don't think I have to spend more words on this, uh, let's say, principles that have been already uh, well uh, mentioned by both Evelina and, uh, and Liana. I would like only to uh, tell you that in the Italian health system, uh, there is this uh, professional called uh, of family pediatrician, it's a primary care professional. Uh, children from zero to 14 are under uh, his or her responsibility. Uh, they of course take care of all kinds of diseases that may present uh, from birth to adolescence. And uh, one specific uh, part of their work is to deliver the so-called well-child visits. There are either seven or eight, depending on uh, the regions, because the Italian health system is regionalized and there are some differences across regions. Uh, of course, these well-child visits represent the best opportunity to deliver ECD messages to, to caregivers. Uh, I will uh, try to give you a sense of the history uh, about introducing these principles into the Italian health system, starting from 1999, when we started a, a program, which is Nati per Leggere, which promotes uh, shared reading uh, in families with the collaboration of primary care pediatricians. And that uh, can be considered, in fact, a forerunner program inspired by ECD, even before ECD was, uh, ECD principles were uh, disseminated and, uh, and made, uh, let's say, sort of a main, uh, mainstream. In uh, later on, in 2006, there was a similar program started, Nati per la Musica, which uh, promotes shared sound experience within the family. And both, of course, uh, are considered a mean to, let's say, promote quality interactions between uh, uh, caregivers and their children since the very first months and even before birth because Nati per la Musica in fact promotes uh, songs and music even during the last period of pregnancy. Uh, in 2001, we introduced a parenting program uh, which for the first time included an ECD component and for this it was called originally C plus one, then it was called genitori più, which means parent plus. And this parenting program was initially uh, was initially a sort of uh, of a research project. Um, so we, based on the result, the positive result of the projects, in terms of changing family practice, it became a national program introducing most uh, regions. Um, this is an interesting uh, part. It uh, could be um, inspiring for some of you because we started to say that together with vaccines, breastfeeding, accident prevention, avoiding smoking, and so on, we need something else. 
And in this case, it was the shared reading experience. So it is, uh, uh, it was good to start saying that children need not only strictly medical advice, but also an advice in dimensions that are not considered uh, traditionally as medical. So what uh, happens uh, after, after the, the first decade of this uh, millennium? In 2011, ECD concepts were formally introduced in pediatric national congresses and training events. We published articles and so on. Uh, we had the first national seminar which was a cross-sector event with the economists talking, psychologists, uh, uh, educators on investing in the first thousand days. And that was uh, instrumental to have at Ministry of Health a uh, working group established about the first thousand days and this uh, multidisciplinary working group uh, at the end the published document which was uh, approved in uh, 2019 and this is very important because of course it represents an official ministry of health recommendations and indications about what should be done at different levels within the health system and also beyond the health system in collaboration with, for example, the educational system uh, and the social system as well. As you know, the nurturing care framework was uh, launched in Geneva in May 2018, and we were very rapid to translate the document and present it to the Italian parliament in October of the same year. That was also important because uh, we did this with the collaboration of uh, an NGO like uh, Save the Children and other partners. So we really were instrumental in introducing and letting this, uh, the contents of this very important document known throughout the, the country. Now, uh, I think uh, we have to mention that as a consequence of the Ministry of Health uh, Thousand Days document, now we have most region introducing the uh, 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 ECD concepts and practice uh, within their health prevention regional programs. And that is something which has just started and you will see what will be the, uh, the, the effects of this, of this effort. Uh, just to give you an idea of the fact that uh, the way we have ahead is still, is still long, this is just a, a visual representation of uh, the proportion of pediatricians that in fact promote natiper legere. Uh, the program will be uh, described by Laura later on, but just to give you an idea that the uh, penetrance of this uh, of this ECD inspired program is still uh, insufficient. We have big differences uh, across uh, the regions, and this is, shows that we have still a long way a long way to go. At the same time, uh, it is, uh, I think, interesting to, uh, to tell you that in an in a impact evaluation of the program, again, of the program of uh, promoting shared reading, uh, we were able to establish that the impact of the program in terms of uh, reading within the families and even avoiding any inappropriate uh, use of uh, digital devices, for example, was significantly better when the primary care pediatrician was involved. As you can see in the graphic, the, um, uh, the, the red lines are always quite more significant in their, in their uh, result than the, the, the pink lines that represent where the program was established without the active involvement of pediatrician. 
Uh, we have also to mention stories that are not properly a success stories. For example, uh, I think you, most of you are familiar with this uh, wonderful uh, guide for monitoring child development, which in the hands of primary care pediatricians could, uh, could make miracles, in our opinion, and not only in our opinion. Uh, we introduced this, uh, this tool in Italy in 2018, first with a training of trainers, then we started to train Italian pediatricians, but we have to stop because of the COVID epidemic that, you know, uh, hit Italy quite, quite strongly. Uh, another obstacle uh, was the fact that the introducing the, the use of the guide uh, for pediatrician requires a, a course of two days. So um, we are faced here with both uh, something that was not uh, foreseen like the epidemic, but also the fact that working with primary care pediatrician requires time, effort, and we have to find ways to make uh, this easier. For example, now together with Ilgi and others, we are looking at uh, the ways of proposing this course in an online uh, matter or hybrid, either hybrid or online, online methodology. On the other side, we are very happy that now most Italian regions have introduced nurturing care and thousand days concepts and practice into their prevention and promotion strategies. For example, uh, promoting skin to skin and father's involvement in the, in the maternities, uh, for example, introducing in the uh, immunization centers materials like books and toys and the presence of educators for example, um, uh, organizing uh, prenatal sessions that uh, uh, talk with parents about the fact that they are becoming parents, and not just about the physiology and the pathology of the of the delivery. So uh, we are uh, now witnessing a very interesting, increasing interest in these in these uh, issues by other health professionals, for example, midwives and nurses. And so we are uh, see that we, we, we can see that even in other aspects, other um, touch points of the health system, there can be ECD messages given by the midwives, the nurses, along all the uh, all the itinerary from uh, from pregnancy to to the first years. Um, looking uh, looking back to to what we we achieved, I think that uh, one of the main strength was uh, in fact having a leading organization like ours that uh, uh, kept uh, uh, introducing the principles, disseminating, working, organizing congresses, making advocacy with policymakers, organizing multi-professional training, which is very important because it puts together uh, um, doctors, uh, midwives, nurses, but also educators, librarians around the common uh, the common purpose of introducing, for example, a shared, a shared reading into families. But also we were very, uh, very lucky to have a very good partner in the Ministry of Health and particularly in the Instituto Superiore Sanità, which is National Institute of Health. They've also worked a lot and they, uh, of course, they led the uh, the 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 uh, the development of the thousand days document. Uh, they've started uh, five years ago a monitoring system looking at how in different regions health systems uh, the different ECD practices were introduced. For example, reading and others. So we have a national uh, commitment to see. Uh, to which extent these practices have been introduced. 
On the other side, uh, I think the main weakness and uh, the, the main weakness is the, the still the lack of pre-service training for health professionals where ECD principles are still uh, quite quite uh, marginalized, I would say. And I think this uh, Europe-wide and probably also in Central Asia problem that we have to, to address. Uh, in general, uh, we are also uh, seeing a lack of investment in health promotion and prevention, and that's the problem of many health systems. And this is also a, a common issue, I think, uh, across Europe and, 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 uh, and the old region. And finally, uh, uh, a problem is the, the fact that uh, different services, for example, the education, the health sector, don't talk to each other enough, and they should do, because we have this idea of the holistic development of the child that is a whole child that cannot be separated. So all these messages about education, development, early development, must be um, shared by all the professional work in different services and that we should have common plans to to invest in this in this matter uh, so the challenges i see that the system approach where we go uh, municipality by municipality to try to have uh, mechanism that put the different sectors together around the table to discuss how they can collaborate to uh, accompany families and to uh, show families and caregivers what they can do uh, best uh, in growing their, their children. Another challenge is pre-service training, and we are try, trying now to address the, the, uh, the universities to, uh, to possibly introduce uh, ECD and nurturing care in pre-service training. And then, of course, another challenge uh, is multi-professional training, which I mentioned, uh, because multi-professional training and uh, I remember we did a, we did a, a, a seminar for ISA a couple of uh, years ago. It's, it's a crucial aspect, you know, because uh, putting a different profession around the table uh, to share, for example, a training ECD principle makes these professionals able to talk the same language to speak and give the same messages to families uh, to understand how they can work together. The opportunities which I mentioned uh, already are the introduction of these issues in uh, regional health prevention plans. Uh, we are uh, uh, building, we have built, as a matter of fact, we are starting to use this nurturing care training module which we built uh, together with the National Institute of Health. So now it is proposed to a uh, university, but also for in-service training. We have a child guarantee plan, which is a European community initiative, and uh, which uh, um, is aimed to, uh, to cover the needs of the less, uh, less privileged, the most disadvantaged children. And then now we have just started a very interesting uh, EU project on fathers' engagement, nurturing care, which builds on the evidence that uh, children that have their fathers engaged uh, in, in care and education since the very first days are children that have better outcomes uh, also in, uh, in adolescence. So, uh, just uh, to give you an idea, just tomorrow I'm going to, to give a workshop for primary care pediatricians, and I will follow this outline. I hope it helps some of you. We will start to, to show the evidence about the factors that contribute to determine early child development and to show how the home environment is very important. Then we will show that promoting responsive caregiving, working with parents is possible. Uh, we, we go through the different uh, intervention trials and studies that have been done on this subject. 
And then we uh, show how the primary care pediatrician, what they can do in their daily work with families to promote responsive caregiving, going even beyond the shared reading experience, uh, which is, is common for, for some of them. And then how to set up a system approach with the other services involved. So I think we have to go uh, through this kind of, uh, of trainings and of uh, uh, op opportunities where we share with our colleagues, not only pediatrician, but also other health professionals, uh, the, the, the principles and the, and the importance today that we are uh, witnessing a, 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 a dramatic increase in the mental health problems and neurodevelopmental problems and behavioral problems and social problems, we have to understand that the roots are here. We can do a lot in order to change these trajectories. Uh, just to show uh, possibly uh, inspirational last, uh, last image you see here, that you can uh, you can leave uh, your footsteps and somebody can be ready to to pick them up if you are good enough. So uh, with this, uh, let's say, hopeful message, I leave you, and I, I wish you good luck in there in your work.